The goal of this line is to invoke the car function such that its parameter this is bound to the van instance. And to do that, we are also going to have to use the keyword this inside the van function, since it's bound to the right object in there. At the heart of this confusion is the fact that there are two different parameters in two different scopes, both of which are given the name this. But we must keep in mind that the parameter this behaves just like other positional parameters to functions. For example, it's probably not confusing that the loc variable from inside van is being passed along as the first argument to car, where it's coincidentally given the same name. Even though the two variables share the same name, we think of them as different because they're in different scopes. The shared name is incidental, and this line merely passes along the binding from one function to another. The same is true of the parameter this. It's just being passed in a bit different way. To underscore this point, let's consider a snippet from a totally separate math library. The double function calls the product function passing along its x variable to the product function wherein it's going to be given the name a. That example was uncontroversial, but what if we were to use the same argument name in both functions? How would you expect that to affect how our code runs? In fact, there's no change to how these two functions would behave. The new example would seem almost as uncontroversial as the previous one. Even though both functions have an input named num, it's clear that those names are coincidental. The code behaves the same as if they were actually named differently, since the two variables are in different scopes. Interestingly, the situation is almost exactly the same when we pass along the value 3 to be bound to the parameter this. If we use the same binding to the parameter this in our above function call, we have ourselves the same situation where two different parameters in two different scopes happen to share a name. And again, we are just invoking the function a little differently so that we are allowed to bind the value to the parameter this.